Ladies and gentlemen, this contest has been matched at 52 kilograms and will take place over five one minute rounds under junior rules. Now both of our fighters are in the ring. Can we give them a massive welcome? He introducing first and fighting out of the red corner, representing Imperial Lewis Rice. And facing him across the ring in the blue corner, his opponent, representing Combat Unit, please welcome Joe McKibben. Oh, full tight gear with flowers, moncons, everything that they'll have blessed and taken off from their corners here. And it's Imperial Gym versus Combat Unit. It's Lewis Wright and Joe McKibben. Nervous energy start as you expect, hectic. Hard to really see what's going on at that pace, isn't it, sometimes? And yeah, straight into the clinch. He's been sent out by Jack Kennedy to go straight into clinch here. Just off of his style, isn't it? Yeah. Kennedy wants to go forward and yeah, he'll be straight back in. It, it Near an elbow you, and that's what oh, he wants really, to really really without good. the elbow, obviously. You know what though, he's not just walking into clinch, which uh, we, you know, he's not just doing it willy-nilly, he's actually thinking about it. He threw a little feint as he stepped into clinch, it was really good. Yeah, and this fight will settle down like the, all the others have with these young fighters. I don't know, I, you, never, you never know with them. With one of Jack's they lads, tidy probably, up. Yeah, probably, they tidy probably up. end up in clinch most of the fight. Yeah, they tidy up. Well, There's an entire score that one if you will. There's only one way to score that, and that's in, t in, in the favour of the Imperial fighter, who was forcing the clinch and actually dominating the strikes within the clinch as well. Yep. Very hectic when they got there, though, as well. Hard to see where the quality knees and quality shots were coming from. Yeah, I like the feint on the way in from the uh, from the young man from Imperial Lewis Wright. Just as he just as he's about to walk in, he gives him something to think about, you know, before he actually initiates the clinch. Ref's telling him to lift his shots up a little bit as well. So, what answer will John McKibben come back with from the combat unit here? Well, all about to be revealed. I don't know what that pause was all about there. That was a. Uh mesmerizing moment at the beginning of this round <laughs> as time just stopped here in the hangar 30 studio oh he's got a good hold on there as he tried to get his back and then he just off balances him himself it's hectic isn't it yeah it's very hectic I'm trying to I'm trying to have a good look for clean, effective strikes. There's not really a lot landing from either fighter. I tell you what, it's going to be very, very tiring clinching like this for a fight, especially in those body packs. You're going to have to have an engine on you. Yep. Good, good right really knee there. Good, good. Best knee that I've seen. The exactly, cleanest yeah. knee strike I've seen in there so far. Yep. If I look at that round as a, a, as a whole and the round of clinch, because that's what it was, it was a full round of clinch. Lewis, uh, John McKibben, that was the best knee in the, in the entire round. Yep. How the judges are see it, I don't know. The position, oh, the position that Lewis Wright was taking up on the back of the tricep, back of the head, that sort of tie, typical tie position. He was getting good positions, but the knees weren't as effective. No, I saw like three clear knees in there that I really sort of stood out in the whole of the round but they got each hold of each other's necks they're ragging each other all over that huge ring that they've got there yeah and uh the ring is half the venue isn't it the ring is literally half the venue at the moment yeah
So off we go into another round of clinch. Exactly. Both corners are just like, go and clinch that guy up, but surely. Oh, he's took us back. Yeah, big score. Yeah, it's definitely going in the way of Jack Kennedy's corner over there. Right, he's uh, quite an accomplished clincher here. Yeah, I don't think um, I don't think Joel McKibben was expecting this type of fight whatsoever. But he seems to go for the clinch straight away himself. Yeah, he locks in. He's it looks like it's it looks like he it's does his try, he does try plan. and get away a little bit to start with. He tries to throw a strike and then he'll try and get away, but he's just being outworked in the clinch at the moment. I wouldn't like to score this on Olympic points, would you? <laughs> Definitely not. They're going to bring Muay Thai to the Olympics. Obviously, that's going to be the criteria. So and that is a job that I'll, I'll definitely give someone else. Yeah. He's corner picking him up here and saying, that's better. Look, they're trying to get his confidence up here as well, but it's more relaxed, isn't it? It's no animation over there in the, no. the red corner. They're like, this well, is... Well, because in the red it, corner, yeah. he stuck to the game plan. Jack Balls. Kennedy's asked him to go out and clinch him. He's done exactly what he's asked him to do. When he's landing the knees, he's looking for the trips and stuff like that. So, I so think he's just told him, he's just told him, land that knee and then plant your leg next to him and try and get the throw after. Yeah. I think it's where it is, does look a bit scrappy at times. He wants that clear dominance to be shown to the judges There's in this round. There's not a lot of clear knees landing. That's right. It's a bit of a scrappy contest because obviously the clinch is being initiated. When you've got a full round of clinch with body shields on and no elbow, it, no elbows or knees, it's, it's difficult to score. He's tried something else there with a jumping knee and then back they go and lock it in like this. Oh yeah, knee into the back there, good score. Went on the inside as well. I think he's, uh, I think McKibben's a bit lucky that the referee broke him there as well because he was just starting to put him in. And yeah, there's the dominance. That's exactly what his corner asked of him. I overheard it in the round. Yep. He's doing what his corner asked him. He's following instructions. And whether it's a scrappy fight or it's not the most exciting fight, he's following the instructions of what his corner have asked him to do. And he's winning the fight. He's doing a really, really good job. For fair play to Lewis Wright, he's following instruction and he's doing a good job of winning the fight through a clinch. He's broken Joe McKibben here. Yeah. The combat unit fighters. Oh, just as I said, he's, it just starts yeah, to pull back the yeah, knees. He's popping a few what, knees out. Curse the commentator there because he looked broken, then all of a sudden out came that little bit of little spark and Lewis Wright just showed us what he's made of. Knackered, absolutely knackered, but clinching for a whole fight. You doesn't said get that, more you, tiring you, than you that. Said, you said at the start of the fight it probably wouldn't end up in clinch for the fault. He'd settle that, but I knew as soon as he come out. I knew he was under instructions to go into It's maintaining it, clinch. isn't it? It's maintaining that energy. It's so tiring, especially in those body suits. You can only add your, your missus having a go at you through it to make you even more tired, you know? It's, what else could you do? If these kids go the whole fight in the clinch like that, I don't think Fair people, play. people at home, it may not look the most pleasing to the eye for people watching the fight at home, but I don't think they appreciate how much energy that takes from these kids, you oh know? No. Dude, that, most people don't, especially if they don't understand it. This is part of teaching people about the sport and be getting getting more people involved in it through it's mainstream. It's a grassroots fight, Alex. Yeah, it's, it's a grassroots, grassroots fight. fight, exactly that. Look at Lewis Wright straight away, coming out looking to clinch again, good trip. I don't know if that'll score, probably more of a hip throw there. I think that. it was a hip throw, yeah. Determined, isn't he? But this is what what Joel McKibben should have done early on was trying to, as you see what he's doing now he's trying to he was trying to score with the kicks and the low kicks he's, coming listen, in. He should have done this earlier on. He's got good attributes, courage, determination. He's got the will to win. Has he got the skill set yet? That will come. That will develop. I don't think he's been squashed in this fight. It's been hard for him to show us what he's got, where he has been swamped so much in that clinch. It's what you see from uh, the cornerman Jack Kennedy as well. Where you do, you do see that in his fights. He swamps his fighters, you know. Yeah. Great kick and takedown. Right on the ankle. I tell you what. 
superb courage there. Yeah, I agree. I would have liked to have actually seen a bit more of John McKibben doing what he was just doing there. That is one very, very tired boy in that corner. See, even the corners are confused as Listen, to what he, round it was. He went out in glory. He went out in a hail of bullets with glory. I thought it was Scarface at the end there. Listen, he, he might have lost every round. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not judging the fight, obviously, commentating. And right at the end of that, I mean, in Thailand, you see them sometimes touch gloves and accept, look, this one ain't coming back, you know. Let's go. Okay, he went out and just tried to put it on him at the end. Yeah, exactly. Like fair play to him. Fighters. We go to our judges' scorecard, where the contest has been scored in favour of your winner. I'm fighting out of the red corner, Lewis Rice. And ladies and gentlemen, we have a big round of applause for Joel McGibbon. See, Danny, what that'll do is for Lewis Wright from Imperial, he's gone out, he's followed the instructions, he's won the fight through a clinch technique, and he's listened to what Jacksman tell him, and, it, and, and he's won the fight because of the instructions were clear, and he's done what he was asked. That will breed confidence not only in his fighting ability, but in his coaching team around him. Do you know what I mean? When he's able to listen and follow the instructions, and even if it wasn't the way he wanted the fight, that kid, John, John McKibben, the other kid, you could see he was better on the outside because when he was landing the kicks, he was more effective. But Lewis Wright smothered him, smothered his work took that away from him and won the fight through clinch.